Leo, welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, with another Channel Tarot card message for you. Now, this is much better, right? Being outside in the open and being able to elevate my voice and my tone versus being inside the library, having to be quiet, <laughs> speak a little softer with my headphones in, trying to be discreet, right? Knowing my personality and all that type of stuff. But yeah, the sun is actually out right now. So synchronicities, Leo. Let's see what the universe has to say in regards to the energies uh, surrounding you currently. What's coming towards you? What's the advice? What's the therapeutic session? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're almost hitting 400. Once we cross 400, I'll start doing um, more and new tarot readings uh, with um, my new tarot deck, right? Maybe some pick a cards or maybe some... Uh, adventurous readings or something like that maybe we might talk about finances right we know this is the love channel though so <laughs> maybe it'll just be more love messages in, in just a different way but let's get into it leo let's see what spirit has to say hopefully you're enjoying your day it's a good friday here so happy hour on the way i know you can't wait to uh enjoy yourself probably go out for the weekend Right. Try to find yourself the center of attention in someone's eyes. We have the chariot, so travel. Mm. So this is fast travel. This is quick communication as well. Cancerian energy. This is transformation for me. Now, the chariot also symbolizes um, uh, some aspects of the police, right? The chariot back in the days in the Colosseum. But yeah, this could be travel or a vacation that someone's going on for the weekend to keep it positive. The King of Cups. Ooh, Cancer showing up twice. So we have an intuitive, a psychic, or uh, let's see, let's run through the list. Um, a doctor, a nurse. This could be a painter, singer, or a dancer. This could be a chef. This could be a comedian. Um, yeah, very artistic, very transformational as well. We have the Knight of Cups, a date. An enthusiastic romantic offer coming towards someone very quickly here. Horsepower, baby. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, someone seeking to uh, go on some sort of a romantic date or have some sort of a romantic outing this weekend. The two of Wands, yeah, they're planning here. Mm -hmm. This is ambition, wanting to take action. This could also be someone watching you from a distance wanting to come towards you. Yep, Eight of Wands. Woo! This is fast travel. This is damn near teleportation. But yes, sexual desires as well here, the Eight of Wands. Go from the two to the eight. She. This person might show up at your doorstep. Or this is possibly you uh, just seeking out um, some sort of a, yeah, emotional happiness here. This could be self-love. Ten of Swords. Oof something that comes out of nowhere all this uh happiness and excitement uh maybe you're oversharing here on social media um now it doesn't necessarily have to be negative or toxic you could vary this could be like traveling to another country and just not understanding the language or not understanding the societal or cultural norms and it's like uh bothering you mentally sleepless nights or something like that um, an example would be like um, on a Friday night being in like Puerto Rico or something like that and you're trying to go to sleep but you're not used to them blasting Puerto Rican music all night so you can't go to sleep so you just go on social media like ah, I guess I'll deal with it <laughs> let's see what else do we got ace of cups definitely a love offer look everyone's bringing their cup the King of Cups, the uh, Knight of Cups, and then the Ace of Cups. So the Aces are a start of something new. So this is the start of a romantic offer. This could also be someone's intuition firing up here, right? Love makes you do crazy things is what I always say. On top of the King of Cups. Boy, the King is bringing that cup. The Four of Cups. Mm. The Knight of Cups. So this could have been a period of stagnancy for someone um, waiting around. Uh, for a romantic, a specific romantic offer to come in, um, refusing the offers of others, right? I'm getting like something very uh, specific. I'm also getting an image in my head of someone uh, waiting on a plane. Like this could be someone waiting at an airport and waiting for a plane, a plane to land, so that their partner or their romantic interest 
um, gets off the plane and then they go do whatever they do. However, that resonates. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wants to work with you. I mean, this could be work. This could be business related. Two of Wands and to the three. So two and three. That is consecutive. So this could be business partnership. This could be the fact that um, if you're not romantically attracted to each other, you both have emotional discipline. You both have um, res a, uh, emotional respect for each other or something like that. And you just enjoy each other's company. But this could be business related. Death. On top of the eight of wands. Hmm. You don't want to do too much over partying, right? Too much drinking and things like that. Over toxicity. This could even be uh, like a love obsession or something like that. A night out partying too much and then someone ends up puking all over the place. But death is major arcana for Scorpio, which Scorpios carry the poison in their tail, right? It's toxicity, the slow death. You also want to watch it uh, if it's sexual, right? You want to make sure that you're using protection here, right? No sex. <laughs> no sex in the champagne room is what I'm getting in my head right now. But you also want to use uh, sexual protection. Seven of Wands, yeah. Sexual protection. So condoms, that sort of thing. Uh, birth control. Yeah. Someone's definitely not having it. Someone, I mean, and again, if this is business business related, we, we, we don't have to, and it's not necessarily, it's not necessary to take the conversation into sex politics, right? Although we know that the majority of the things uh, that people care, care about nowadays is love and money, right? The two most important currencies of our time. Nine of Pentacles, right? Yep, money, the harvest. Someone sees great abundance here, working with you here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm getting speed dating. This could also be an app as well. Someone could be using an app, maybe met a romantic partner online. Yep, the fool, the app. The fool doesn't really know things very well, but they're very enthusiastic, very open-minded, ready to take that leap of faith off of the... Uh, ledge and let the universe carry them right that's aries energy so you may want to watch the aries energy or you're dealing with an aries yep jumping right into an emo, uh, a romantic connection so it could possibly start out as business or this could be uh an actual romantic uh meetup and then you realize that you have a lot of business in common or you work in the same industry you go from the two to the three to the four now isn't that a synchronicity two of wands having ambition or look, watching someone from afar and wanting to take action towards them and then three of pentacles wanting to work with them that's business could be a, a, be a business associate or a co-worker and then the four of wands going into a relationship grounding something making it solid turning it into a home life or um foundation of, uh, this could be what is this foundational recruitment mm. could be twin flame or soulmate energy. Yep, three of cups. Wanting to share an abundance with you here. Mm -hmm. Someone to party with, someone to work with, things like that, right? I talked about this in the past, right? Instead of going out to parties and going out to clubs and things like that, me and my romantic partner, Friday, right? Payday. When we get paid, I would just freaking go take out a bunch of ones out of the freaking bank and just make it rain in my room buy some cheese and wine, right? Order some wing stop and all that type of stuff. We could party in our own house versus going out and overspending on things that we don't need and being around people that we don't necessarily want to be around. We have the page of pentacles. So uh, youthful energy here. Um, this could be a gift, right? Someone meeting up with you or uh, you meeting up with someone and providing a, a small monetary gift here right like how a boss would keep in touch with his employees a monetary uh gift or some sort of a material gift i remember working with medicare and medicaid and on christmas they gave us tablets they gave uh, um yeah those apple tablets they gave us like xboxes they gave us gopros so a boss wanting to keep in contact with someone or sealing a business deal you would give someone like a cell phone or iphone those things are like two thousand dollars but they could be written off as a business expense right or providing some someone with a flight ticket or something like that but yeah something to seal the deal is what i'm getting here 
not necessarily a marriage ring, but it could be a promise ring if this is a romantic relationship or a romantic interest. Let's get into the major arcana. We have the fool and then we have the death card. So you definitely want to be careful here for the chariot. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Someone's about to get ready to jump head first into a romantic relationship or a romantic partnership. Or they're just that type of person. They're they're open minded. Uh, they before it's almost like giving people uh, giving people the benefit of the doubt before they bullshit you, right? Because the ten of swords is here, right? Uh, so that's the majors. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. I think they're both ruled by Mars. That's masculine energy here. Mm -hmm. And then we have the High Court cards. A lot of cups. We have the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups and then the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, a romantic offer coming towards you could start off as business and turn uh, romantic or vice versa. Could have a secret admirer on your hands as well. Scorpio is very secretive here with the Death card. They may make the, their presence known here with the Fool card though. Taking your leap of faith, providing you with a romantic offer here. Maybe someone outside of your norm. Someone that you don't think you have a lot in common with here. But the Ace of Cups shows up as a um, romantic offer here. A new romantic journey, new romantic interest. Expansion of the heart space. Um, we do have two threes. Three of Cups and three of Pentacles. So again, someone that you can work with. Someone that you can love with is what I'm getting as well. Mm -hmm. Threes. Four, four of cups. Again, you uh, don't don't judge a book by its cover, or this just could have been, it could have been abstinence, right? Two of wands, waiting to meet the right person. So two, three, four. We have actually two fours, four of wands and four of cups. So yeah, someone's about to get ready to come outside of their comfort zone and try something new. This could be opposites attract, and two fours. We have eight and eight. So fast travel, quick communication. Uh, we have seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, so coming out of their comfort zone, right? Someone very defensive or someone very protective of their energy, right? They're, they have a lot of integrity. They don't just have one night stands, eight of wands, fast travel, right? Until they meet that, that person that sparks their interest. Nine of Pentacles, a harvest coming towards someone. Very abundant here for you, Leo. Mm -hmm. Someone sees you as high value or sees that you dress well or sees that you are, um, I don't want to necessarily say bougie, but you're very unique. You have um, money surrounding you. Uh, you're looking like a snack here to this person. Ten of Swords, almost if they can't have you, they don't want anyone to, one else to have you. This could be like, um, for instance, uh, the NFL uh, or coaches or different teams wanting to recruit the number one prospect or something like that. Mm -hmm. This person sees uh, value with you. They're wanting to create several contracts. They're wanting to work on several ideas with you here. They're feeling like you can top top off their ideas, bring uh, good insight. It's hard to find good uh, partners is what I'm getting here. The chariot, which is clairvoyance, right? Able to come up with good ideas very quickly here. Yep, the queen of wands shows up. Assisting the king of cups. Mm -hmm. Very creative. Mm -hmm. Very attractive. Very abundant. Very... Mm, could be a mover and a shaker, right? It could be like a female um, strategist. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Yeah, they're still guarded here. Remember, we saw the Four of Cups and the Seven of Wands here. So a very guarded individual. But the Wounded Warrior has gone through a lot of tough cycles. So again, they know how to transmute energy. All right. Uh, anything else I have for Leo? We'll check one more card. The High Priestess. Yes, yeah, someone with a lot of insight. Again, once you go through... Um, things that no one else has gone through as the wounded warrior you gain insights that no one else can take advantage of right? very strong energies here being able to create possibilities out of nowhere right bringing insight teaching uh, nurturing uh, spiritual awakening mm -hmm. holding secrets and knowledge esoteric and occult information dealing with a witch possibly is what they would say right they would call me a witch right they would call me a poet they would call me someone that speaks in algorithms right a guru or something like that a spiritual leader 
that's what I have for you here today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the reading, Leo. The light is shining down on you. I guess today, Friday, is going to be a very good day for you, or at least this weekend. We have someone very romantically attracted to you. They're going to come towards you with a cup, obviously, right, Leo? <laughs> um, yeah, you're, there's a lot of happiness centered around you, a lot of joy, possibly sex as well. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one, Leo. Peace.